Hello, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to use our template for downloading files. It's a beginner's template. It's great for customization. It'll help you understand how Axiom works and how it can help remove that boring, repetitive task, pointing and clicking on downloads. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Quickly, before I show you how to configure this template, Worth noting that if you're going to handle um, files, uploads, or downloads, you'll need to use the desktop runner. Axiom will tell you that in the extension. However, a new feature is coming very soon, and that will allow you to use files in the cloud because you'll be able to send them to the Google Drive, or you'll be able to retrieve them from the Google Drive. So look out for our Google Drive step coming soon. Okay, so before, quickly some context. What can you use this template for? This template is used for downloading files on mass. Now, why would you want to do that? It may be because you want to export files from a website on mass, or you may want to gather on um, files for reporting. So this automation will basically go to a web page where you'll select the links of the files you want to download. You'll then set the folder for those files to download to. You click run and Axiom will save you the time of manually clicking those files yourself. We recently had a customer inquire about how you do that. And that was to help them automate over 900 pages worth of file downloads. So you can see how useful this can be. And just going to show you now, but do remember you can fully customize this automation by adding steps. You just click on the plus signs, build out the automation for how you want it to work. Anyway, so how do you install this template? If you're watching from YouTube, go to our website, axiom.ai, find the templates page and just click install. Ax this Axiom will appear in your extension like this. You'll have to be on your dashboard page in the ex extension and not in the um, Axiom in, in the builder mode. Okay, once it appears, you'll see these two red fields. That's all you need to set up before you can start testing your bot. It's dead simple, enter URL. Anyone can figure that one out. I'm going to click on the get URL button. There you go. I've got the link to this page. Now all that's left to do is select my um, downloads. Now I've already done that, but let me just show you how to do it again. It's point and click. Now I'm going to get move the point around a little bit because I want to get right in there on the links. So you can see it's done a matching selector to get all the rest of the files on the page. So I'm done. I'm going to press complete. Now, sometimes you may need to, to reselect to, to find a selector that works. So next up, we need to designate the folder. And I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I always do this option, click to select. Because the computer sets up the file path, I know that I haven't made a mistake and put the wrong file path in. Worth noting though, when dealing with um, folders, uploads or downloads, make sure you, you pick a folder that has the correct permissions. We have had users who have been baffled to why their automation can't work. <laughs> And it's because the computer doesn't give them permission to write to or read from that folder. Okay, finally, the file name. I'm just going to call it report. Axiom will also add a number to every file, so it will count up from one. And here, force download. Sometimes you see some sites don't have a proper download HTML set up, so they will open up in the page. So there we have a little feature. Let me just get Axiom back to... Um, allow you to force that to download. Okay, so that is the automation set up. Now, let's click Run. So, like I mentioned, I'm running on the desktop. This is Axiom opening up. So imagine Axiom doing your useless task. So grab a coffee, read a magazine, or just chat to a colleague. Now, nothing much seems to be happening, but Axiom is doing all my hard work for you. The run is completed. There's been no error message. So let's just have a little sneak peek up there and there we can see our reports. So you can see just how useful this automation will be. And um, yeah, awesome. So let's now um, show you how you can customize it, actually. Let's show you how you could add steps to, to customize this and use it in a more meaningful way or expand it out to your, your workflow. So like I said, Axiom, you just need to add steps to, to change its functionality. One thing I might want to do, for example, would be to read data from Google Sheet because I want to loop through many different pages and I could store the links in there. So I could just get a Google Sheet. I could get those links from there. Let's say it's got the files on. You will, of course, those files 
pages would meet, need to be the same format as the other pages to make sure um, the selectors are the same. And then you could just pass those links in there. You could loop through those pages, downloading the files. So that's one way you could change its functionality. Now, if you had to go to, a, if you've got to go to a page where you need to click a button to see the files, or you need to fill in a form, you could add steps to do that, like a click element or an enter text. So that makes it really useful. So let's say you, but if you're behind a login, you could add two enter text steps, and then you could pass put your password in and then just add a click step to log in, etc. So that's another way you could um, expand this automation to more suit your workflow. Cool, so how could you build this yourself? Well, it'd be pretty easy to build from yourself. I did this one in, in seconds. Let me just show you. All axioms start from blank, create new, we're about to also replace this. So you're going to have these base templates in there for you to start from. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to change very, very soon. Start from blank. So this is just starting from scratch. Let's just say I wanted to read data from a Google Sheet to do that loop. Then I'd add my interact step. I just tend to whiz through, add all my steps that I want. Here you can see the URL. I'm just going to search for download. And you can download from URLs. You can download multiple files. And there we go. Awesome, so that's the axiom built in a second. You can just save it, give it a name. Cool. So one thing before I go, a bit of troubleshooting. Like I mentioned, you may have issues with downloads. You can't run them in the cloud. If you try to download a folder you don't have permissions to, they won't appear to write there. Also, you may have a time when the bot runs, it says it failed to find the content. Then reselect your data. Cool. Thank you.